Working with your halftone separations in Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0. Once again, you know, because we do our ripping directly in our applications, we can work with our separations, especially our halftone separations, in ways that we cannot work them with any other ripping solution in the industry. And I just want to go over a few of the basics of working with your halftone separations here with Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0. Once we generate a set of separations, say for here from page two, I generated my separations here already, just for the sake of the video. We can actually review our halftone separations here. We can go to our object manager. I can actually come and click on an object here. And I can see that I have the colors and the objects here on this page. And I can go through and select them that way. And we can see the colors down here at the bottom for the outline. Now, because we're working with monochrome bitmaps, our colors will be set to the outline. It's the inverse of the vector objects. The outline is your foreground, the fill is your background. We can also go to our separate separation pages and we can change colors here. For example, I can see that my background color is set to white. If I left click, I'll change that background color to say a blue. As you see there, I'll hit Control Z and change that back to a white. I can also change the foreground color if I wanted to change that to a blue. I could do that with a right click. Remember, it's left click, background, right click, foreground for the monochrome bitmaps. If you do that, you'll lose your all black output output color that you have down here, which is C100, M100, Y100, and K100. You can take these and copy these and paste these on top of each other. For example, looking at this color, if I wanted to copy this and paste this onto the other page, then change the background to transparent, I could see that I have this perfectly interlocked. You can see there's no color. No garments going to peek through, and then I can right-click to change the colors you see there. I can also delete that and hit delete. One of the unique things I can do is I can also edit these halftone ripped images in Corel Photo Paint, something you can't do with any other rips. You can't actually edit your ripped halftones. You can only print them out to film. Let's say I want to get rid of the shadows here on these circles down here on the left-hand side. Well, I can go to Edit Bitmap. And that will open my halftone ripped image directly in Corel Photo Paint. I can go ahead and zoom into this area. And I could get, say, the eraser tool. And I could change the size of that to, say, up here to about 160. And I could come through and actually erase these halftones. And edit my halftone separation pages directly in Corel Photo Paint. Then go ahead and save that. Go ahead and close Photo Paint. And that would be edited in my color separations. So you can see we're working with monochrome bitmaps. Once again, it's left click for background, right click for foreground. And that because we're doing in-application ripping, we have the ability to do some things with our halftones that we can't do with any of the other ripping solutions in the screen printing market. We can actually edit them in Corel Photo Paint. And I find myself doing that, particularly sometimes when I'm working on a very high-end graphic and there's some color in there that comes out in my halftones that I didn't really see in my original graphic. Instead of going back and trying to edit the graphic, I can just open the file from Corel Photo Paint and erase those areas as I demonstrated here in the video. So we'll go ahead and wrap here concerning working with our halftone color separations in Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0.